so we're working on the LS swapped uh, S197 Mustang again here. What I'm going to be working on today is just some little stuff that's been on the back burner. The sway bar link had to be moved down because it hit the crank. You can see it right underneath the crank. It's not attached, it's just sitting there. So what I'm going to do right now is lift it up in the lift and we're gonna make some spacer blocks to move it down about two inches so it clears the crank and bolts to the frame still. So it still works as a sway bar. And then I think the next thing I'm gonna do after that is uh, shorten the springs in the back. So as you can see, put a big engine in the front. The front of the car is now nice and low. Uh, where I want it actually so it's pretty close to where I want it uh, but the back of the car is way way up so you can see the gap here on the fender on the back and then the front has a lot smaller gap so we're gonna lift it up shorten the springs because I don't want to buy new springs uh, and if I mess them up I got another set of springs anyways so uh, we'll get going on that lift it up and short shorten the springs and attach the sway bar Got the Mustang uh, up on the two post lift here, and this is the first time I've ever put this car up on a two post lift. Uh, so we can really look at what's going on down here. Uh, for those that have questions about how the LS fits with the truck oil pan and power steering and all that. So as you can see on the front, we got the exhaust coming over from the passenger side. You can see where it snakes down through there. Had to trim the radiator shroud a little bit here to get this clamp to fit. Uh, I don't know if I need to fill that back in, if the fan will be sucking a bunch of air through there, probably. I probably need to fill that back in, uh, but that's at a later time. And then it crosses over, comes back up in this fender, and that's where the Y is over there. Uh, moving on to the power steering pump, as you can see, this is the factory forward power steering rack with the high pressure line that loops around and comes up. I cut it off, I cut the Chevy line off, and I put a flare fitting uh, connector on there similar to you would use on a brake line and the power steering seems to be working fine I know the uh, Chevy power steering pumps create a lot higher pressure than the one that was in here uh, They do make a pressure kit to lower the pressure of this pump Which I probably need to put in or else I suspect I'll be blowing the seals on this rack here Here's the sway bar I was talking about So I dropped it down to clear the crank now. It's got tons of room under the crank uh, there's the factory bolts. We used to bolt here and here. Now it's going to bolt here and here. I'm going to make a piece of flat bar with a couple holes in it and bolt it in there. Uh, there's the lower radiator hose going across and over to the radiator. Now if we move on to the motor mounts. So there is an LS bolted to the factory 4.6 liter Ford motor mounts. Those front two bolts line up. Lines up with the motor mount post right there. The back two do not line up. As you can see, they're close, but not quite. If you wanted to go through the extra time to cut those, move them back and weld them back on, you could do that, no problem. Not sure if I'm gonna do that or not yet. I probably will. There's the other side with the factory Ford motor mount. If you get those swap plates they sell on eBay, you can see that bolt bolts there. The front two bolt straight into the block. And that's how that one works. So that one's good the way it sits. Also sits just fine on the factory mount there. This has a truck oil pan on it. As you can see, clears all the subframe, no problem. Even clears this little brace that Ford puts behind the subframe, no problem. The only problem is, as you can see, it does clear the steering rack on this side. You can see the steering rack has that little bump that comes up. It's not touching the oil pan, but it is very close. Uh, I suspect these motor mounts in this car are very worn out. This car has almost 300,000 miles on it, and I don't think those motor mounts have ever been changed. So I'd imagine if I change those motor mounts with new ones that weren't all compressed and squished down, it would probably bring this up a half inch, and I don't think I'd have that problem. If not, you just need a half inch spacer on the motor mount on this side to bring it up half an inch, and that's good to go. Here's the transmission. This is a CD009 out of a 350Z shortened shifter so that it lines up with the shifter hole there made a quick mount using the factory trans mount bolts in the bottom of the car that's all good just ordered a rubber mount off ebay universal mount seemed to work fine and then a custom one piece drive shaft uh, the fords have all the cv joints and the slip in the middle and this eliminates all of that so it's just a one piece single steel drive shaft 
Uh, this was a V6 car, so now it's got an 8.8 .8 in the rear end. There's a video on that. And that's pretty much the whole car. Uh, minus the electrical and some small stuff. There's the clutch line, as you can see, you just put a braided clutch line in. There's people make an adapter to use a AN fitting into the Ford weird quick connect clutch line on the master. Um, so there's that. So what I'm gonna do right now, make these mounts and lower the back by shortening the spring. We got some quarter inch plate here. So there's our two brackets. So I'm gonna cut those out and then we'll go stick them on the car. Alright, so there are the brackets. Do a quick coat of paint on them. As you can see, that's how they work. Drop the sway bar down on both sides. And that's that. So drop the rear end down a little bit. Pull both springs out. And what I'm gonna do is just take a grinder, uh, keep cutting springs off, and lower the car down, cut the springs off, lower the car down until they're at the height that I want. I went ahead and cut that much out of each spring. And as you can see, the front and the back are sitting almost the same now, so I think I'm gonna call that good. Doesn't have a rake to it like it did before. It's kinda hard to see, because it's in this bay here, but it sits a lot better now. Okay, so there it is. You can see how it sits now with the lowered springs. Much better than before. Take it for a spin around the block. But, uh, looks a lot better.